Hi, I'm Kitty. Hi, I'm Jess from Official London Theatre. And tonight we are going to the Prince of Egypt opening performance. Very exciting. What are you most looking forward to? I think all the songs, I mean, like I grew up with the Prince of Egypt, watching it, acting on the scenes with my sister. I cannot wait to see all the songs that are in the film. Yeah, I'm really excited. I've seen so many production photos um, and it looks like there's actual fire on stage. So I think it's going to be pretty epic. We're going to chat to some people on the red carpet and then hang out at the after party, see who we can grab there as well. So lots of great content. Let's go. It's, we're very excited tonight, looking forward to sharing the show with everybody. Um, you know, all the critics have been here already, so we get to have a performance where we just enjoy ourselves and share our show with people like you and our friends, and then we go out and party. Oh, it's the most exciting thing in the world. Uh, I remember many, many years ago when I was just out of school and I was traveling about and I spent several months in London. I went to two shows a day, which you can only do in London, and I couldn't imagine my wildest dreams I would be here tonight at that point. So it's like a dream come true. Last time we saw some footage from the show was before rehearsals had even started. Okay. How have rehearsals been and what have you discovered? Um, well, you always learn a lot. You know, you learn a lot in rehearsals, and then, frankly, you learn a lot during previews about what things are working, maybe what things need to be um, shorn up a little bit. And we did a lot of work during previews, um, and uh, you know, now now we're done. So we'll we'll see what people think, but we feel really good about it, and we're very encouraged. It's been such a wonderful process. Uh, we were just talking with the cast and crew just a few minutes before saying this has been an unbelievable experience just a perfect joy from beginning to end I can't think of a show or a movie or a television series I've been involved with that's just been undiluted happiness from beginning to end so it's just a, a wonderful thing to be part of. Are you looking forward to the show tonight? Absolutely yeah I mean there's nothing like a premiere of a, of a new show and to be here to support Michael McCabe is, is a real honour and uh, and Stephen, obviously, and um, I know lots of cast members, so I'm excited. This is a night out for me, it's good. <laughs> I cannot wait to see the show tonight. I've heard it's an absolute epic. I've heard that the ensemble, their movement is just, like, that's, all my friends have seen it in previews, that is the one stand-up thing they keep saying, is the ensemble, the dance, is like, everything's amazing, but that is next level, so I can't wait to see that. Well, hugely. I mean, it's not the kind of show I usually go to, but I mean, there's such a... There's such a buzz about it, and it's kind of it's kind of exciting for it. Of course, I'm looking forward to it. Yes, I'm a big fan of Stephen Schwartz, and uh, I've seen many of his musicals. I play him all the time on my radio show, so I'm looking forward to seeing what this one's all about. Very much. So excited! So excited, aren't we? Very much. It's our, it's our daughter's favourite film, so we've seen it quite a it's few times. One of times. our favourite movies, so it's on quite often in yeah. our house. She's really fascinated by the by the Egyptian kind of empire in that yeah. period. She finds it fascinating, so she loves this film in particular. Amazing, will you take her to come see it? Absolutely. Oh absolutely, we're a bit gutted absolutely. that we couldn't bring her tonight really. So <laughs> yeah, we will we'll come back with that. Night out, yeah. Yeah. Look, I'm looking forward to the show very much. Uh, I've heard lots of good things about the soundtrack and the talent of the cast and so I'm really ready to watch a really lovely show and feeling positive. Fab, and how does it feel being back at the Dominion? And oh my god, on stage? are you joking? It feels great. Uh, I remember when I first started work, when I first started working here just last year, I was my pants. Uh, my agent said, good luck filling that barn and it's really intimidating but to actually be here and with all the people that work here is great and when you've got like all these, look at the massive crowd here everyone, it's just actually exciting. With that excitement comes nerves. I'm happy to be here without the nerves, just to, ready to be entertained. Have you ever experienced a miracle yourself? A miracle? I know I should say I believe in miracles, but I don't believe in miracles. It sounds like a song, doesn't it? Well, I've got two children, and on, on a daily basis, they, they're perhaps not a miracle, but they are miracles to me. So, yeah, no, my miracles are my babies. Well, I've never witnessed childbirth, but I would say that childbirth is a real miracle because it's someone that didn't exist here in this dimension before, and then suddenly they do, and my twin brother is about to give birth. Not him. That would be a miracle. Here's Mrs. Kaylee. What up, Kaylee? Uh, she's trying not to be induced, but she's currently heavily pregnant. And that's a real miracle. 
Just being alive is a miracle. I've had a few miracles happen to me personally over the years, so yes. Oh, yes. Our when daughter. she was born. Yeah, our daughter. Yeah, yeah. that was... That Definitely. Was, it was a very traumatic um, birth, and it's amazing that she's here with us. So, yeah, yeah. she's our little miracle. Oh, maybe being able to get up after Drag Queen Sundays. <laughs> maybe able to go to work on a Monday after Drag Queen Sundays, probably. I think, um, you know, at my age, every time the sun comes up is a miracle, right? <laughs> We are sat in the theatre now, yep. using our iPhone as a bit of a <laughs> torch. <laughs> um, we've just been interviewing some of the people on red carpet. How did you find it? Very exciting, a little bit cold. It is February, but very exciting. Definitely worth it for the people that we spoke to. Um, it was great to find out what everyone's w- witnessing a miracle was. Yeah. Mainly childbirth, which yeah. I it's fair. lovely. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, cool, yeah, so we're going to watch the show now. We'll see you at the interval and then we'll see you after. Bye! I think the ensemble is amazing. The movement, the way they're, you know, they're rocks one minute, they're water the next, they don't really give too much away, but there's not many props and the ensemble creates such amazing spaces and shapes and it's just, it's best, I've never seen anything like it. It just keeps coming out of all these surprises, like, you just don't really know, yeah, you don't know what's coming next. The minute the curtain opened and they did deliver us, I like, I genuinely chilled. I thought I was going to, like, it took me right back to being like a kid and I knew yeah. I knew all the words still, but oh, just yeah. beautiful. So yeah, the music is it's actually really interesting because I'm finding it hard to know like what's what's like original music and what's new stuff. Yeah. Which is really nice because it blends really well. And I, I guess think that we even a few bits through maybe. Like I'm not sure. Yeah. yeah. Oh and you have to go back and look at the like yeah. album and see. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Shall we get a drink and then? Yeah. And then carry on yeah. and watch it, and we'll see you at the after on the other side. Long time since we met you guys before rehearsals. Oh my gosh! Gosh! <laughs> yes. What's that process all been like? Wow. I'm trying to flash back. Yeah, it's like it, it feels like a journey. Yes, it was so long ago, but I mean, it's been amazing. Like the whole process, like from the beginning of rehearsals through tech, through previews, it's just been. It has felt like an exodus. It's like we, we've been kind of all heading towards the same direction yes. and now we finally arrived yes. and it feels like such a relief and a release of, of joy and just like excitement that we're finally here, we finally arrived in the West End. It's, yeah. it's exciting. It's, it's, <laughs> it's not stopped. Um, you caught us at a point where we were doing a workshop. Yeah. We had a bit of time to sort of collect ourselves and take stuff away and develop. Yeah, what was the start of something that is literally from the first day of rehearsal just been a crime to this point. So to finally have that we're here, we're here, it's shared, it's out there with the world, and we can just. Um, I think as well, like for me and for me and Luke, it's been something that's so important because the process we've been involved with it quite early on when it's been in the UK. So to then see it actually in fruition and now at this point, and we're here at the British Museum, we've just done our press night. It's like it's I know it's insane, but I I wouldn't want to do it with anyone else. Like he's like he's like one of my closest mates. We really are getting to become that best mates like really yeah, it's, it's we're inseparable and like everyone is pretty much noticing that and that's one of the things that people are mentioning all the time but it's it's just a joy to work with you it's not work is it no it's not it's fun it's like that tv show fun house it's a whole lot of fun yeah okay you're, you're a bit younger than me you're a bit younger than me embarrassing <laughs> Um, obviously it's a very physical show, there's a lot of like choreography and stuff going on. I mean, on. compared to what we do, the dance, do the dancers are, I mean, like, incredible. The choreography that Sean Cheeseman has done, it, there's so much storytelling down to their tiny tippy toes. It's telling you something. And I think what he's done is absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. 
I mean, yeah, the story through movement is immense. Like, there's nothing like it in the West End. I don't think there is. It is one of a kind. And like, three friends of mine have come to see it. They say like, at some points, it's like watching Cirque du Soleil, and then yeah, so you think you can dance. Yeah. And but but also it's musical theater, so it's connected to the story and to the narrative and to to the truth. Yeah. And it is that's so difficult. It's daring to do. as well. The and the dancers yeah. are almost oh phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. You're gonna be mind blowing. It's worth the ticket to just see them and hear the music. Yeah. Like those two elements for me are like the ticket. Yeah. The music. Yeah. The music. Come on. Speak. <laughs> so I don't pretty much do much choreography other than like uh, faster or faster, depends where you're from. Uh, but yeah, so literally for me that's been the most physical but I trained as a dancer so I went to like a, a dance college so for me watching a lot of these dancers in the show that being like you said physical it's physical theatre is outstanding I went into the first day of rehearsals thinking I've got myself I can do this and then you see our ensemble yeah. and instantly I feel about 90 so 90 I've... stone as well it's just such a journey for these two characters and I think that's one of the things I touch on what Luke said like riding the thing actually doing it it's it's, it takes a lot every night to actually emotively go through that journey and it's heartbreaking like I mean I haven't told you this but when I did the plagues tonight because like, it's the definitive point where Ramesses says absolutely not this is it he just cuts all ties with his, with his brother and I literally went down the drop inside and I broke down and I literally was like and they're like are you okay and I was like oh my god I just can't breathe but it's because I'm so invested in the show but I'm also invested in our relationship that at the point I was like <laughs> And then I was like, check myself, Liam, check yourself. Have a beat. Have you know a what I mean? You're off stage. Yeah. This isn't that to be seen, but it was yeah. that that's how much we push each other. So it's it's, it's yeah. really important. Um, and finally, have either of you guys ever experienced a miracle yourself? Yeah. I think we're living a miracle. Yeah, we are. We are. We are. I you know, tonight when, when we did the curtain call and you just saw a sea of beautiful, diverse, supportive people who were there to watch us. I was overwhelmed, I was completely overwhelmed. Because I don't I never thought I'd do this and I you know, it is an incredible privilege and a, and a miracle to be on the journey. Yeah. yeah. To be you know, with, with such beautiful people. Yeah, we are but, and it sounds really cheesy, but we are so 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 blessed to be in in an amazing company, but not just the cast, the backstage crew, stage management, wig, wig wardrobe, wardrobe technical, tech, backstage, I mean like it's all literally tight, all everyone tight. is just amazing. The band, they're so gorgeous. Mm. And can I just say again, so many women in the band. Hey, I know. I mean like you don't usually get that very yeah. much. Um, there's usually like one or two women, but, but like there's loads of women in the band people. So oh. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. What a night, that was incredible. Um, the show is Fantastic. I think it really is a spectacle. The ensemble work is madness. Yep. Um, the movement, there's so much energy and so much power behind it. Like when they sing When You Believe, I just, my heart fell through my stomach. It was just beautiful. So it works perfectly as an ensemble song, of course it does. And it's just so powerful, beautiful story of love and friendship and hope. And, ah. Yeah, definitely. And to be here, like have the after party at the British Museum, these are our Greek artifacts, not Egyptian. But um, but I just think it, obviously they've got the Egyptian thing here, so it's really nice. It feels like it's all kind of come together and the cast look like they're having such a lovely time. Yeah, we seem like they're genuinely, yeah. The word and bromance has been bandied around. We got the exclusive that they are officially best friends. We heard, you had it had Liam first. and Luke, best friends. Um, yeah, so if you want to see The Prince of Egypt, you can get your tickets from Official London Theatre. It's just been extended till October, so you've got no excuse. See you later!